Welcome back to Knowledge is Kings, everybody. I am Kings, and today we are going to do the unboxing of the Solo Shot 3. Now, I've waited almost two years to get this. Anyone else who's got a Solo Shot pre order knows what I'm talking about here, but let's just get right into it. So, if you don't know, Solo Shot is a camera that automatically tracks your movement, follows a little uh, chip that you wear. So let's just see, pretty nice looking box here. Ooh, now that looks gorgeous. So this is what we got here. We got the solo shot base here. So this is what actually uh, tracks your movements. This is a little tracking device that you put on you and it follows this around. They can track up the whole bunch of them. I'm not sure how many in the 20s, I think. And then this is the camera that you don't have to get with it. You can actually use your own camera, like a DSLR or something. But using the camera that they provide uh, can do extra features like zooming and stuff like that, and we'll test that later. But this is a 65 optic camera here. Let's see what else we got. Looks like some, uh, oh no, I'm gonna say some cleaning cloth, but it looks like we've got quick start guide. We'll have to go through that. What's this here? All right, so this is the band you put the tracking device into there. So it looks like this is one that you wear on the wrist. I actually did buy one that you wear on your waist too. What else we got here? We got a little uh, tool. I don't know what that's for. We'll find out. Oh, here we go. We got a uh, USB cable. Looks like there's a little metal piece right here. Screwed into the plastic. Oh, that must be an adapter for uh, mounting it to a tripod there. All right, guys, we're out here now to test the solo shot for the first time, and I have not read anything, so I don't know what I'm doing. We're going to kind of learn this together. Uh, the only thing I did do uh, before I took this out here was I obviously put the camera on there, and it just slides on. Nothing big there. And I did charge it. And this thing took two and a half to three hours to charge. Uh, when I plugged it in, it was at 4%. So, And that also charges the tag, which is on the front of it here. Uh, that which is what tracks the individual that you're capturing. Okay, so So the first thing I'm going to do here is turn it on and we'll see exactly how this is going to go All right, so I believe this is the power button here. We're gonna hold that until that turns on See what happens from there So this is the first time this thing has been uh, turned on so we'll see exactly how long this takes for it to First setup, and we'll see if it goes faster in subsequent setups. So we'll click this here, it's touch screen. First click, oh my goodness. All right, so <laughs> it looks like uh, we have to connect to the internet here. All right, so it looks like we got to connect to the internet there, which I did not know, so just uh, as I'm out in the middle of a park, I just connected to my phone, so this might take longer than it would for somebody with, who had Wi-Fi. I really don't want to have to take this all the way home, pack everything up again, so we'll just see how this goes with the uh, phone as our router. Okay, so. All right, so this is uh, taking a little bit of a while here to get this done. Maybe this is something I should have done previously, but I didn't know it was going to take this long. Maybe that's what that instruction manual was for. I should have read it. But I guess while we're waiting here, I'll go through. Uh, so this does require a micro SD card, and this is uh, the one I got because I'm sure everyone's going to ask. Uh, 128 gigabytes, speed up to 100 megabits per second. 
Uh, I just basically looked for one that was capable of doing 4K, which is what this camera can shoot in, 4K at 30 frames a second, or it also does 120 frames a second at 1080p. So, I want to test out a bunch of the features of this. Some of them are, it says it tracks up to 2,000 feet. The subject will be out there 2,000 feet away and can still get them. Has 360 degree continuous high speed pan, 140 degrees of tilt. Now, I'm watching some of the preview videos, especially when they were uh, filming some of the RC cars. When the, the car got real close up, it had a hard time keeping it in frame. Hopefully they got those bugs worked out and they'll be able to do that. So that'll be something we test. Up to four hour battery life, which is practically what it took to charge it. So let's hope. Touch screen, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And it has HDMI out, which I won't be using today. But I believe it also has live streaming to your phone or something like that. Um, wireless, but I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Um, this one does actually come with the camera, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, this is a 65 optic. I believe they also have a 25 optic, or you could use your own uh, DSLR or something like that. They say. Not sure how exactly it gets mounted to there. You must need like an adapter or something. Uh, it does do photos, but it's only uh, 12 megapixels for that. Okay. So it uh, just skipped ahead here. It's been another 10 minutes, and it got to 100%, but. Now it's saying it's going to prepare to install, so we'll see how long that takes. And it is freezing out. The temperature is 35 degrees, so, and actually that wouldn't even be that bad, except that it's kind of windy out. So it looks like this update is actually going pretty quickly here. Pulled out the manual real quickly, which, you know, and it said that you need to create a solo shot account. So I did that while this was doing its thing. All right, so base restarting. You know, I was looking at this uh, scan disk case. This says it's waterproof, temperature proof, shock proof, which all seem to make sense. Then it says x ray proof. You know, I've never bought a car thinking, you know what, it's got everything, but that got it. If it were x ray proof, that would really make this car. You know, the only reason I could see that is if going through the airport check but i've never had a card corrupted by that so i didn't think that was a big deal but yeah i just i thought that was kind of funny when it said x-ray proof unless it means x-ray proof x-rays can't even make it through there it's like bulletproof but x-ray proof no one's seen what's on this card just by a machine all right it looks like it's doing something now let's hope that this is uh gonna be ready to go i am breathing and I was planning to shoot this in real time, but this is going to take way too much time just sitting around waiting for this thing to update and it was going to be this long. Alright, so I just uh, logged in there. Alright, so we got to update the tag now, it looks like. Unlock tag and power off. Then press and hold plus, then press power for update mode. Tag and display. So it looks like I got to take the tag off the camera brace and so this is the little tag here so it looks like you gotta press and hold the plus sign and then click power for update mode and then it displays it displays this little thing to dock it so that just just clips into the front right there all right so we'll let that uh Put that update. Hopefully that should go pretty quickly. It's just to tell you how much it's need to update. All right, update successful. Next reboot tag. All right, so power off. Says T1 tag. Okay, now it says dot tag. All right. Auto track. Update, there's another tag, no. Update camera. Are you kidding me? All right, we'll see if they're 16 of 21. I don't like the sound of that. Okay, former SD card, which is a new card, so that should be fine. I'm not going to lose anything. All right, that's done. Updating camera. So it looks like there's a few updates, and hopefully this won't have to happen every time I turn this thing on. All right, update successful. All right, so I think 
this, uh, I think it's ready to go. I'm not sure what else needs to be done, if anything. I'm just going to pop this tag out. I'm just going to hit tags. Uh, turn this one on. Okay, so now it's tracking, that looks like. Hit track. I'm not sure what that little button is. Okay, track, that's good. Water, field, terrain. So we're, I'm just going to go field. Hit continue. All right, so hit calibrate. All right, and then while that's calibrating, I'm going to take, get the tag on my subject here. So I have uh, one of these that just, the tag just sits right in. And this just uh, clips to the wrist. So I'm going to put that on my subject here. I right, see your wrist here. All right, so I've got that on his wrist. We'll just wait for this thing to calibrate. All right, so I'll have you run out there a little ways. So you run out there. It was moving super quickly there and kind of jerking itself. But we'll uh, see what that does. Um, all right, so it looks like it started recording, but I don't think my subject is even in frame there. So it looks like it might be searching for it. All right, why don't you run, run that way a little? All right, so it's it's way off there. All right, stop. Run back that way. All right, stop. All right, so I'm just going to see if maybe on here there's a... Uh, we're going to take and move the settings around or something to track the subject a little better. No, it looks like here we go. So I'm going to get that so it's right on in there. All right, about that looks like the closest I can do. I'm going to zoom in if I can. I don't know if that's all the way zoomed in. Or... All right, so I'll click down there. All right, now let's, now let's see, how, see how that does. I think it's still recording. Let's just... Yeah, okay, so that's still okay. All right, so run that way a little bit. See how this does for zooming. All right, so have him run. All right, stop. All right, now see, see if you can just run in a circle around us. Stop. All right, so it seems to have uh, problems catching up with them. Doesn't look like he can even uh, pick it up where he is. So go, oh, sinking. Go that way a little bit more. Well, so maybe might have locked back on. All right, stop. All right, now run this way. Now come to like right here and run a circle around us with that. Totally lost sight of him. Stop. Totally lost sight of him. It's completely gone. All right, so walk back out that way a little bit. 
All right, so then it kind of picks him back up. All right, that's good. Now run to that fence and back. All right, now run towards the camera real fast. Stop. All right, so come around this side. All right, so it seems to really have uh, trouble there. Yeah. Alright, so we're back inside here. We didn't get to test out all the features that we really wanted to test out just because the update setup took so long. It was so cold out, my subject wanted to get inside where it was warm. Um, so we didn't get to test the 2,000 feet thing and I didn't think we were going to get that far anyway. But as you can see, it wasn't tracking the best. Uh, I'm going to do a few more tests, try it out, some tweaking. I do remember uh, before it was even delivered, a solo shot had sent an email out that said, before you move it manually to track it like I had done, um, they said something. I'll have to try to find that email if I can. And I'll try to find that email and do a few more tests on it and do some more review videos. And I should be doing more videos just recording with the solo shot. So we'll get a more in-depth look at how it works. Uh, I did want to take the time to just kind of go over some more of the features here. Um, didn't really go over it too well. So this is how the camera sits on there. It just has a uh, probably all right. So it just has this little button here that you depress, and you slide this back just a little bit, and then you lift up. So that's how that uh, comes off. I guess we can look at this first here. On here, it has a loop, which this might be for putting a strap on. Didn't come with a strap. Then it has, this is where the the memory card goes here. And it's just a micro SD here. Could have been designed a little bit better. I think it's hard to get your finger in there and grab that out, but just, uh, just one of the little cards. And it has a spot for a flash or a light and then it's got the little protector there and that is basically it for the camera portion to it nothing too special there all right then we have this is this is what my subject was wearing this is uh when you put on your wrist and you can just tighten it up like this and it's all velcro that's that's all there is to it I think you can put it in your pocket too, as long as there's nothing in there that'll disrupt the signal. So this just pops right out of here. Pretty simple, this is the tracking device. And I showed it earlier on the video, but you couldn't see it because it was facing the wrong side of the camera, but this is what it snaps into the base. It has these little pins and that's how this charges. Um, I don't know if they make separate bases for these to charge because if you had a ton of these, if you had one connected to every player, let's say on a sports team, you know, charging these one by one in here would take forever. So I'm not sure if they have extra bases that'll just charge this, but this just this just snaps right in there like that. And then uh, I think we saw in the video the on button there, and then this is this is where it charges here. It's just got this rubber thing. You pop that open. And it has the small USB and then the normal USB. So now it said it had, uh, it says on there it has HDMI out. And I'm, I'm not sure if that's this hole here. That should be it for the first uh, look at the Solo Shot 3. Uh, like I said, I will be making more videos on this. So you guys will have to stay tuned for that. I will see you guys in the next video.